calling us about the tank. Yes. Uh, so I think I I go to to the points that and not all the points because we are talking and we are uh, it taking longer than I that I expected and it's it's great because it it seems that we we are understanding and it's really difficult uh, to transmit orally this technique because it's all about the exercises you know so I think I will talk about two or three things, two little things, and we can do an exercise together, okay? Sure, sure. I think that's a really good idea because practical exercises real, uh, really demonstrate and clarify everything that you are telling us. And I think the best way is to have some practical exercises. Really okay. good idea. Okay. So, uh, should we wait uh, or I start? Uh, I think we can start... Okay. Uh, the audience will join us, don't worry. Okay, yes, okay. So, uh, I reached the point where the feeling came, you know? So, we said, don't feel, do, and now we say, so, the feeling has come to us because we were in this journey where we were doing, and in, in a point when we have conscience and we have attention, and we were working with the tongue and the, the different parts of our bodies, we, we start feeling. It's the first thing that it's going to be. But uh, just we... A, a question came up in my mind. I didn't necessarily understand that, that how, where the movement came from. You know, uh, the previous uh, factor that you mentioned, you said that uh, every movement is originated from uh, a muscle, maybe for example, when we play the piano, a muscle uh, under the arm, we mm -hmm. call it the upper back muscles. Anyway, uh, but the uh, this third factor that you mentioned, I didn't get that really. What is that? You mean where each move comes from? Okay, isn't it exactly the same as the second factor? Or they are different. Okay, so no, it's not. A medical construction, you know, it is not like you. The, the movement is originated from here because the action of the muscles go from here to there. It's like we need to be focused. I don't like the the the, the, um, the word focus, but we need to pay attention to that places and work with that places because they originate the movement. For example, I can. I can talk about, uh, I don't know, move my, my, my leg, and I can, I can pay attention to the action of the, the joint in the, in the shoulder. So maybe you can say, okay, so what has to do this part of the body with the other one? That's what... When we are doing uh, something or we are, uh, we are moving, we have emotion or something like that, it's important to think about the uh, originated place of that movement. Is that exactly what you mean? It's, it's kind of that, but it's not, like you, it's not exactly as you said, because uh, you said like the underarm, you know? When you move the arm, it's, we, we say, okay, from here, Yes, we start the movement. And that's a medical thing. And we can prove that in a way, for example. You know? Got that. I got that. So, Just but, yes. Give me uh, a couple of seconds to translate this part. Okay. Yeah, no, okay, Jara, we can to Fedora has me a the hatchet to come and join it when you think you want hatchet to the farm on the human conflict point. Go on and install me. من دارم در سمان که رو میارم که اون که فرمان مثلا میگم پشت کتف من این رو نقطه باید کنیم و با آگاهی انجام بدیم تا نقاط اصلی که باید سکر اینجا میگم اینجا رو پیدا کنم اوکی ویدیو اگر اما بیدیم این که این است بگرد از این که این است 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 این
are talking, we are talking or we are think, are paying attention to the song. You know, that's why, that's why the the engine, the fuel that that let us move that part of the body is not directly related. Is how we think the place, not um, not not that they are connected. In, in a way that is uh, physical, physically proven, you know? So that's the, the different thing. That's the, the thing that it's, it's strange about Fedora. It's really strange. It, 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 that's a reality. When you start doing this technique, the first thing that you understand or you wonder is, I don't, I don't know if I'm losing my tongue here because I'm working with my tongue trying to solve a problem, a problem in, my, in my leg, you know? But uh -huh. as you start doing the exercises, you start understanding. So that's why it's so important to do the exercises. Because... Okay, uh, move to the exercises to the okay? Yes, yes. Maybe, I think, maybe we can give two or three examples about the words that I will use when we use, we uh, do the exercise so we can understand what I'm talking about. Yes? And yes. we do the exercise and then we talk about the exercise. Okay? Sure. So, the thing is, there is a way, some misconception about the words as we mentioned earlier. So. We will talk about conscience. We will talk about attention. And there are some things that it's important to have in mind. We will tend to repeat the word, yes? Repeat the word, not as repeating when we say uh, like an exercise. The words will help us to keep the attention, you know? The attention in thinking in the place. And the, the main thing about repeating the word, the main thing about doing the exercise, thinking about the word, and thinking about the part of the body, is because I think a place, it appears. Yes? Like I yes. think in the thumb, it appears in my mind. And because, yes. because it appears in my mind, I think it. Also, so it's like a circle. It's like a second that, that, that it fits from itself, you know? Because you are thinking and it appears, and because it appears, I, I start to think it again. So, because I think this place and it appears and I pay attention to this place, I start to feel this place. Yes? The feeling yes. appears from the search of the place and not, and we, we, we won't talk about how to feel. We will talk about how to search and how to pay attention to the place. Okay? Yes. Okay, so the main thing here is not to cut the energy in your arm, not to uh, have uh, tightness, you know? So we do the exercise and we will talk about it uh, after. Okay? Sure. So, the exercise is, is really simple. It's the, one of the first exercises that it's given to the students in the first classes. And we have to take in mind that a class of Fedora lasts from one and a half to two. Yes? Ah. And you do not always the same exercise, but it's, it's, uh, we, you have to focus on the travel of the movement. Yes? Yes. yes. Okay, so what, what we are basic... Let me put this... I'm seated, yes? So what we are going to do is just sit and slide our arm up and down. Why I say slide? Because I don't want to go and come back. I want to try to understand and pay attention to the whole travel of the movement. Yes? Sure. So, 
How should it be seen? Yes, it's like the exercise is like this. Yes, and you just rise your arm. Yes, just rise your arm and go go back to your leg. Yes, but the thing here is two things. You will work with your whole hand. You will think about your whole hand, your whole hand, and all five of, or of your fingers. Yes, like a complete part of your body. And the word that you will, or the attention that you will have, is in your tongue. So you will repeat to yourself, thinking about what I said earlier about thinking and paying attention, conscience of the tongue. So if I if I do it saying out loud what I think, I think I'm like like this, I'm thinking. Conscience of the tongue, conscience of the tongue, and go to a place. You will feel um, you mean that you are thinking about the, the tongue all the time? You are not thinking about the hand and forearm, just about the tongue? Not in, not in, the, first, in the first experiences, because when you start to having conscience of your tongue, maybe five places, uh, uh, I don't know, one month uh, from exercises or something like that, you start to be able to thinking, thinking about your tongue and the part of the body. So we start uh -huh. from there, and then we go to uh, to the next level. You know, uh, you you have to to take in mind that exercise is developed. So when you start doing this, you start with the tongue, then you start with the whole hand, as we said, and then we start. You start to work in each finger individually. Uh huh. I see. But it's but now it's it's too many information, you know. So we start just thinking and moving. Okay. okay. Ask the first one. Should we think about the hand and forearm? You you only need to think and pay attention to the word. So we talk about the tongue. You have to think about conscience of the tongue and you have to think about only that we will be okay. correcting you or i will be correcting you as i see as you as you are going to to be doing the exercise maybe you can put your your camera a little down so i can see the when you reach your leg sure sure just okay uh, okay our, uh, let me put the volume up. I didn't. Sorry. Is Can it you okay now? Can you yes. See yes. What? It, it's okay. It's okay. I, I will focus on how you move your arm. So okay. let's 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 try it together. Yes. So I will look straight and. Start thinking conscious of the time. Let me just this way, I think it's better. Okay. Yes, okay. so conscious of the time, yes, and I will start doing and thinking conscious of the time and start moving there up. The whole arm. You know when you we say arm in the technique we, we refer to the upper arm and all of this with the hand, yes? And yes. as we have to focus on the travel of the movement, you have to start doing in this speed. You know? You mean at a slower tempo? Exactly. But it's not about the tempo, it's about the tension. Because when you pay attention to the whole travel, you don't want to reach to a place. You just focus on the tongue. Focus. Up. 
and run. And the thing here, the most important thing, is that it's important not to try to be technique. Just think about the traveler. You are moving to a place. You tend to reach this place. Think about the traveler. It will be slower if you think about the traveler. Okay, just uh, give me a moment to translate that. تو این حالت بشه این دستاتون بذارید اینجا یه حرکت از پرد دست از نایه سرشونه میخواهیم داشته باشیم به اینکه دست به کجا میخواد بره و از کجا میخواد برگرده فکر نکنید فقط به مسیر فکر کنید یه مسیر رو میرید و میای با یه تمپوی بسیار بسیار کنید من الان خودم داشتم تمپو رو تونده انجام میدادم باید خیلی تمپو پایین تر بشه اوکی؟ اوکی so let's try it and you have to keep thinking attention or Conscience of the tongue. You will feel what you have to feel. Think about the tongue as the main engine of the work. Yes. Great. Just reach the place that you can reach. You don't have to go here or here or here. You have to go the place when you are comfortable. Conscience of the tongue. Have to keep it repeating to yourself and thinking and paying attention to your thumb, how how it reacts to your movement. Each hand is different. Think in his own singularity. You are losing attention when you work with your right hand. Oh, I see, I see, yes. Yes? Exactly. So, right hand, conscience of the tongue. Better, better. You will see how your, well, when, when you see this live, you will see some interesting things. Okay. That's a nice exercise. It's all about this because it's a way to relearn how to move. You have to think that we have to retrain our bodies and our minds to move as we were babies, you know? In, uh, in my uh, less estimation, in my mind, I'm just uh, doing the exercise by using the time as the uh, source of energy and using, as, uh, using the time as the engine. Am I doing the exercise right or right? Or right? Yes, right. And if you can see yourself right now, it was really different. When you start thinking about the conscience of the tongue, when you start, when you, when I say it, and you start to understanding what I was saying, because if you see this light uh, before and after, you know, you will see this. The first hammer is like this, yes. Yeah? The second hammer is like this, slower and starting to understand, but when he is. Moving his right arm, he moves like this, you know? But when I say, yeah. when I said, conscience of your tongue, when you, and, and I said to you, you are loosening when you are trying to move your right arm, the hand immediately goes from here to here. 
And I, and I didn't say nothing. You will see that. And that's why when you start thinking about the engines, the places start to open. And we don't talk about open your finger, you know? We can, we can talk about why your, uh, this finger is open like this when you are uh, moving. Because an important thing when you when us move is not to try to stretch, you know? Yes, stretch. yes. Pull like this, stre stretching like this is not good to the energy to flow. So yes. just do it, let's, let's do it just five minutes, okay? And we will talk about yes. the exercise, five minutes more, yes? Try to focus and we will talk about what you felt and and let's see what what came up came up think about not repeating each time it's like the first time conscience of the tongue and each hand has its own singularities. Yes. Don't lose it. Don't rush the movement. Just when you start, start thinking about the tongue and his action, Atten attention to the tongue, and conscience of it. And when you reach your leg, you start with the other arm. Don't rush him. And thinking about the movement. Think about your tongue. Move the other hand. Okay. It's really interesting. When I uh, lose connection with the tongue, I think about the arm and the hand. Uh, I feel more contractions in these places. Mm -hmm. But when I think about, uh, and when I concentrate on the tongue, everything is different. I do the movement uh, uh, freely. Yes, the, the thing is, it's really difficult to, to have a conclusion with uh, such a little time, you know, but it's really common when people start to understanding the, start to understand the technique, you know, that they yes. have this kind of movements. They are doing this, and they're doing, doing, doing like this. Because you start to develop a connection with your inner muscles, you know? I see. And they are forgotten by us. Well, we, we don't think about them. So, and it's difficult to think about them because we don't control them, you know? But when you start to open the door, you start doing that kind of things. It's common and it's strange because um, when it happens to you, you don't know what is going on. And, and <laughs> the teacher said to you, it's, it's fine, it's normal, but you start to, to have some vibration because the muscles, are not trained. The, the inner muscles are not trained. We, we forget about them a long time ago. So these things, the, the important thing about this technique is to, to start doing and to start thinking about where it comes the movement because then the feeling will be yours. You will say what you felt. I want I to say to you, what do you have to feel, you know? I know. Yes. So the, the thing is, well, the problem with, with this technique is that it's, it's difficult to, 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 to give it with words, yes? And the exercises are, are difficult, difficult to do, not, not because they are difficult itself, because 
one uh, lose his attention, start moving like you do in your normal life. And it's really boring because imagine if you have to do that one hour and a half. Oh. Yes, that's what happened when you start doing this technique. And the first two weeks, I think, when I started doing this technique, uh, the, mo the most important thing in my life was to uh, not feel pain, you know? So the teacher says, do it every day, and I did it every day. And uh -huh. the first two or three weeks were terrible because it was so boring. I wanted to grab my phone or, I don't know, go to the computer instead of uh, doing this. Or maybe grab my, my violin and do it, doing it. And it, it needs time to grow. Because yes. nobody <laughs> is saying you what to feel and what to do. Or just what to do, yes, but you are building your own, your own sensations, yes? And yes, thanks. The thing is, or the, the most important thing about the technique is, uh, and the difference with, the, uh, with other is that we, uh, or someone start thinking how to think, and you became your own master as, as someone says uh, once, and, or your own teacher, yes? And yes, it's really the of yes? Sorry? It really helps us to raise our awareness. Yes, yes, <laughs> exactly. It's, it's well, it is, it's just, nobody's, nobody will tell you how you have to interact with your body. You have to understand it by yourself. And it, ta yes. it, takes, it takes a long time, a long time, because, um, well, how much time it takes you to, to start working when you're a baby, you know? One can say, okay, but your, your brain is not developed, and okay, it's true, but it takes a long time to relearn how to do simple movements. And when you yes. go to an instrument, when you go to an instrument, it works, it magically works. And, and I can't explain that. It works. We we can we can think together why it works. Yes, but it's it's kind of magical. And we have and we have um, exercise with the instrument. So, and it, it's it's interesting because these things are are important. For example, for guitarists, yes, they they have uh, so much problems. In, in the right hand because of the repetition. Yes, you have yes. to do this in the same stream. And so yes. thinking about or applying the exercise in a way because each time is like the first time. Each, each finger has his own singularities. And when you start doing the, the, the exercises, you reach one point when you start um, exercising uh, the fingers. So, uh, an advanced, not, not advanced, but middle, middle exercise is, for example, I have to move it, and as I move my arm, and I think my tongue, I have to move my finger, one finger at a time. Yes? So, yes. to that point, you have to, 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 to develop consciousness in different places of your body. First, the first stand, then you start with opening your hand and the center of your hand, and then you start to thinking about the side and different things, different parts. So, it's a long journey but it pays off, you know? Yes, yes. Uh, it, it's a really nice technique. I really liked uh, the things that you mentioned and 
I think it's really useful. It can help us to raise our awareness and it can help us to uh, know more about our movements and do them in a way that we understand what we are doing, which is really important, especially for musicians, because when we play the instrument, we do not understand what uh, we are doing uh, with our movements. We just uh, take a lot of care with the notes, with the music sheet, and uh, we just lose uh, our body. We never think about uh, our body, our muscles, and I think uh, this technique is really nice to have, of course. Uh, anyway, uh, thank you, Emiliano, for uh, joining us tonight. Uh, is there anything that uh, you want to mention? Because we are reaching 90 minutes. Actually, you passed 90 minutes, and we don't usually make longer than that. Uh, just let us know if uh, there is anything else that uh, you would like to share with us. Okay, I think that the most important thing about all techniques is that they complement each other, you know? And I think we, we need to learn how to sure. connect them. We need to learn how to connect them because different people develop different techniques because they, they have different problems. And uh -huh. it's, I think it's, 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 it's silly to think that it's only one way to fix all problems. You know, so yes. I think I what I have to say is is first thank you. Uh, it's it's I think what you are doing is really important because having having these techniques all together and developing a community with with people that that are trying to to find a way because you are alone when you have pain. That's the thing. Nobody will help you like a wizard, you know? Yes. One, yes. one is going to a doctor and thinking that he will give me a pill and I will start doing Paganini. And that's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. yes. So I think that's the, the most important part. If I have to talk about Fedora, okay, we, we touch two of this seven points that I, I, I write, but and if I, if I keep writing, I can write a lot of more, but the, the most important thing is to start doing, because that's the way that we can escape the pain. Yes, uh, you, uh, you just mentioned a really good picture about different methods and different techniques and how they complete each other. Uh, uh, you know that uh, that is the exact reason why uh, I'm trying to do this. Uh, you know, I say everything has its own advantages, and when they actually come together, uh, they can make a big difference. I say musicians are facing uh, too many injuries these days, yeah. and unfortunately, uh, they are uh, uh, facing debilitating conditions. They cannot play the instrument. They have to. Uh, they face career-ending problems, and that's a, uh, that's a, uh, no, that's not good. That's not good. And whenever I hear and I read about it, uh, it makes me really sad because I'm a musician, and I personally understand that when uh, you cannot play your instrument, that's a big pain in your life. You know uh, that you have to deal with it for the rest of your life, and uh, it's not good. And that's why we are trying to make a community and bring all those techniques together to put their advantages you know, aside and have a good, uh, let's say, course uh, for preventing performance-related injuries in universities and in schools uh, to help uh, musicians stay healthy during their journey. That's so important because the, the main thing here is that we have institutions that teach us how to think music, but not how to face the problem with, musics, with, with music. Because yes. let's face it, it's really difficult to be a musician, to be a good musician. Yes. Yes? Yes, exactly. Okay so, okay, so I thank you and thank you for having me and hope to hear from you. Okay, thank you.
Thank you, and uh, uh, I know that uh, you did uh, you made a lot of effort to gather information about the Fedora and uh, prepare something for us. That's very really kind of you. Uh, I really appreciate it. Okay, thank you. Yes, that was a thing because uh, Fedora is only Spanish in Spanish, and uh, you have different sources, so it's it's important to 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 give knowledge to the world, you know, because. Let's face it, uh, English is the, is the language of the world. Yes, yes. What you did is highly appreciated. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Have a great rest of your day.